Hi everybody, this will be part 14 in the character rigging tutorial series. In this video we're going to discuss how to refine the skin weights for the arm. Last video we discussed how to refine the skin weights for the torso. So uh, if I go back to my rigging module, go back to the paint skin weights options. Uh, I've already painted a value of white for the shoulder. Uh, and then the rest of the joints, I'm going to go back and mainly refine. But we also want to go back and adjust the collar as well uh, to be able to add some skin weights for that. So right now, uh, once again, we're only working on the left side of the body. We want the collar to make some adjustments to the skin as well, um, which is going to be like the um, scapula and the uh, collarbone kind of mixed together. So this whole kind of area around, we do want that to blend and allow that to animate as well so let's start with the collar come in and create some base keyframes uh, we'll first roll it up and then we'll roll it down slightly copy frame zero and I'm hitting the S key each time so I'm creating a new keyframe um, the 20 frames later we'll roll forward a little and then we'll roll backwards some yeah, that should be able to give us at least some base motion here. So this shows you also need to go back and kind of refine the, the shoulder as well. But overall, uh, we're going to try to blend some of this a little more. Uh, so with the skin weights tool, um, let's roll up our hips and find our left shoulder. So yeah, the left shoulder needs more blending here uh, in order to uh, smoothly allow this to move. So we definitely need a value of one with the add tool make a brush size smaller to kind of go around all of these make a brush size smaller here so i'm on the left shoulder come back and make our adjustments to the there we go uh to the collar here in a minute so we definitely want that to happen there um we can do a value of like 0.2 we might need to just correct the shoulder and the collar at the same time so we'll blend this outward some so that the shoulder will move a little bit of this as well. Okay, try that. So see how that blends a little better. That's already looking a little better there uh, under the arm. Uh, maybe we'll do even lower point. Let's do 05 here. Work our way outward to this loop some. Try to blend a little more there so it's not so harsh of a pinching. Okay, we'll keep adding some more. Until as that goes up, it's not going to be too harsh. Good, that looks all right. Let's come back and correct this back area a little more. There we go. Blend a little more here. Let's roll it. Backward, there we go. So blend this a little more. We don't want it to have too much of pinching in areas. Okay, so it's probably not enough there. Uh, with the shoulder, also, we want a little bit of the chest muscle to move some, so we'll kind of blend out a little bit. So it'll move a little bit all the way to the pectoral area. Good. We may blend this a little more so it moves a little bit more of that area. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so I am going to go ahead and start working on the shoulder as well. Um, we want the same idea here. We want to have some of that scapula motion as well. Blend that a little more. So with a value of 0 .5, 0 0.05, we can start to get some pretty good motion here of that shoulder but this is actually the scapula moving as well so if i go back to frame zero uh, this is the collarbone moving so there's that so now it's kind of moving a little too much we'll come back and adjust the um, uh, shoulder as well but we do want some scapula more more scapula motion here let's go back to the collar maybe value of 0.5 we do want some of this to move as that scapula moves there, 
go. So we'll kind of blend it around. We don't want you know complex motion of the scapula, but when that scapula moves, it is going to start moving more of this area as it moves down as well. Yeah, so some slight rotation. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good to begin with. Let's maybe move this a little bit, a little bit more of that area. Uh, we may want to blend a little more here so it is moving more of the center um, of that collarbone and everything as well. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. Um, when that shoulder complex rolls up, we do want a little bit more of this to move as well. A little bit in there. There you go, so watch that. Okay, that's pretty good. So I say that's a good start here uh, for the scapula. Remember, we're only gonna work on one side of the body. I'll go back to frame one with my collarbone selected, and we're gonna select Translate, Rotate, Scale, and Visibility in the channel box. Right click and choose Break Connection. All right, that gets rid of that animation there. Then we can move to the shoulder and create some test motion for the shoulder as well, which we did a lot of refinement already, uh, but we do just want to make sure we go to each joint and make sure each joint has the proper skin weights to it. Move forward and test out the range of motion here. So I think we have a little bit too much um, too much blending, but we'll, we'll pull it back. Now that we have that collarbone motion, we should do a pretty good, pretty good setup for that. Um, so we can also test, you know, rotate this way, rotate this way. That's too much, but at least we get the standpoint through there. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I don't think we need to do a whole lot more here. I don't see a lot of weird pinching and whatnot. Let's look at the back of it. We do want to make sure we go back to the paint skin weights with that shoulder selected. Cab pay attention to everything here. So yeah, we do have a little bit of pinching going on here. So maybe we'll go back and add a little bit of blend in there. Try to correct that pinching that's going on. There you go, that looks pretty good. Let's look at the pinching on this side. Yeah, a little pinching, so you might want to kind of blend that just a little more. But I'd say that's pretty good. So it's not just around the shoulder. We want to blend it out with a very low value, 0.05, to the chest and to uh, the scapula here, the shoulder blades of the character also. So that way as the body blends, it will kind of blend that area how we want it to. So I think when we corrected the collarbone and the shoulder, we went back and forth and uh, corrected both of those at the same time. We're going to remove the keyframes for the shoulder and then move down to the elbow create our range of motion here for the elbow. The elbow is just gonna have forward and backwards motion here. Um, so we're gonna do that. We'll hyperextend it a little bit, but it's not gonna be too much. There you go. So we don't have really much weighting going on here. Um, so we're gonna come back, because I've removed it all. Make sure our shoulder looks like something inside upper arm area. Let's put a value of one and kind of flood that back as well. Looks like it's on the inside of the arm, a little bit here as well. So make sure the um, inside vertices aren't moving at all of the sleeve. A little bit going on in here. Can I watch it again? Just want to make sure there's no kind of weird popping or whatnot when that elbow moves. It's a little bit down here. Correct there. There we go. All right, put it back to zero, and then we're gonna go down to the elbow. And we're gonna flood from the elbow down to the hand. So we're gonna paint all of this white. Make sure the entire area is painted white here. All the way down to the fingers. We don't wanna leave any of this area out. So make sure from all of our angles, especially on the hand, all of that moves 
Yeah, go in between the fingers, fingertips there. Play back. Looks pretty good. We'll move a smaller brush size. We want all of this to be white around that elbow. Uh, then we're going to start blending. So let's do 0.5. Because if you remember the shoulder, the shoulder is blended there. So with uh, maybe, let's use lower, 0.2. Okay. Um, let's blend that around this way so that I'll slowly bend that elbow. We'll bend a little more there. There we go. Take a look at it. Correct a little more there. The point two value upward towards the bicep area. Maybe one that to blend some. Okay, now let's watch that. Try that. That's pretty good. We want to add a little bit more weight to the back of the elbow here. More weight there. Try to correct. Um, Kind of how much is kind of crunching in on itself right there. Try to blend this a little more. There we go. Good. All right, so that's a pretty good start here. Let's say got some good blending deformation. And then perhaps we pull just a little bit more to blend that some. There we go. That might be too much, but then we can always go back to. Uh, that shoulder and then a little bit more weight back there. There you go, I'm going to blend all that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. A good starting point there. Alright, so there's the elbow. Take our elbow joint and make sure we're on frame zero. Break connection to reduce the animation there. Let's go to our wrist and do the same thing. So let's say S key on frame zero. Rotate it down, rotate it up, keyframe there, wasn't keyframing for some reason, keyframe that down, keyframe that up, try to do the range of motion here as well, go to the next keyframe, frame 80, rotate out, Write it out. Copy and uh, paste, and we'll do twist, twist this way, twist that way. There we go. All right, so there's our kind of omnidirectional motion of the wrist. We're gonna follow the same process. We're gonna select the body, skin weights. We're gonna put a value of one, and make sure we go select that wrist. And skip over the twist joints right now. We'll come back to those later. So we want to flood the entire wrist again as we move down to the fingers. We want all of these to be 100%. Make sure we get all the finger parts here. All of those. And we want to make sure we go all the way around so that all of these finger joints move. All of that maybe to this loop right there. Let's do test. Looks pretty good. Don't see any spikes going on there. All right. Then once again, we're going to go back to maybe 0.1. Smaller brush size. And we're going to start blending back to the rest of the wrist here. So let's um, keep adding some more. It's a nice part about uh, blending with a value of 0.1 to begin with is that it slowly eases in more weight. And we do want a smooth blend there. Try to get it all. All right, so that'll be a good start. Let's try that out again. Pretty good. I don't think that's too bad. Now, technically when the wrist rotates, we're gonna uh, rotate some more of the upper arm as well. So maybe we'll do 0.05 larger brush size. We'll blend this out as well. 
Okay, so we get the race and all now blending. Very good. Maybe we'll put a little bit more of a you know, value 0 0.2 or 3 in this area. All right, let's try that. Pretty good start. Okay, we can always add and adjust to that later. That's a good starting point. All right, uh, so the fingers will be done the same way. We're going to go to um, uh, the wrist and we will reduce out uh, the keyframes, break the connections. I'm not going to create individual keyframe or yeah, keyframes for my finger joints because just because it's going to take some time. So I'm just going to go through with each one of these, uh, weight each finger, uh, and then uh, I'll pause the video and come back and we will finalize. Uh, the finger video. Actually, let's um, let's just take a break and end this video here with the arm. In the next video, we'll come back and do the fingers because uh, that's going to take some time as well uh, since we're already um, uh, about 15 minutes in. So uh, that'll wrap up this video for the arm. Let's go back and review. So we have our uh, collar. Okay, so there's our collar uh, skin weights. There's our shoulder. Okay, got a little bit of an issue there with the elbow, so it's good to kind of go back make sure we correct any of the weirdness that could be happening there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Um, there's our elbow, that looks pretty good. Uh, the wrist, we need to go back and correct that thumb because if you look at the elbow, there's some white areas on the thumb. So let's go back to the wrist. It's good to go back to your previous joints to make sure that they are skinned how you want them to be. Whoops. Pretty good, so we just need to clean up any of the small little area that the elbow might have uh, with a value of one for the wrist. There you go. Make sure we go back into our body here. Okay, uh, so shoulder, go back to the shoulder. Uh, elbow. And then we skipped over as a twist right now. And there's our wrist. Okay. So to wrap up this video, we'll come back and do the hand in the next video.